of the most frequently asked questions that we're having today, you know, amongst financial planners when it comes to our customers is things are changing, you know, new legislation got entered, we've got recent stuff like retail distribution review, changes in remuneration policies have been discussed. So the industry is a little bit of flux. Uh, some people may argue that this flux is permanent. The reality is financial planners are struggling to evolve into more professional fee-based practices simply because the paradigm shift sometimes feels a little bit wide. The reality is it's, it's not as big as one thinks. Simple things, asking questions uh, which we asked our own customers. We said to them, if our purpose of our business is not aligned with you as the customer, then clearly you wouldn't pay for services. I mean, this was the bottom line for them. So once you've got a clearly defined uh, purpose in your, in your practice, for example, our purpose is, is very simple. Um, it's to create customers and to keep them. How well we do that can be measured in you know, a single unit of currency, and, and it's as simple as that. So what we did is that we went to actually chat to our customers, and our customers helped us develop a value proposition. That value proposition then wasn't simply a mission statement sitting on a wall. It was something that we had to unpack and have the capability to deliver. The inability to deliver a, a value proposition obviously just renders everything you do moot. So after developing that and consulting with our own clients, and in fact, it took a couple of years, so we're not saying evolution is easy. But after and once we, we got started, we had the value proposition and we had the right technology to help us evolve our business, you know, we were pretty much able to kind of stamp out, you know, the parts of the value proposition which weren't deliverable. I think the key really was making sure that we maintain contact with our clients on a very, very regular basis. So determining a fee model, there are so many different ones out there. Look at your own market, look at your own customer base. Once you've got that in play, you can then play around with the different financial models. So this is the reality. Develop your value proposition, make sure that you have the technology processes and procedures in your office to be able to deliver on that value proposition. And the chances are you'll very quickly evolve uh, your practice and your clients will then be convinced paying for a service is worthwhile. Again, there is so much technology out there, you know. Um, the industry over the years has become very used to, and by the industry I'm talking about the actual consultants themselves, we've become very used to using tools um, in our industry, you know. Things like needs analysis tools, number crunching tools, and we've kind of forgotten that these are all the things we need. They're not things which customer needs. We convince ourselves that the customer does need it because, of course, um, for us to do and be professional planners and to deliver on our CFPs, um, and our qualifications, you know, you have to use these tools. The reality, of course, is a little bit different when it comes to the customer. Strangely enough, we asked them 10 questions and we asked them to list, sorry, we asked them one question and we asked them to list 10 items that they want of their financial planner. We asked the financial planner the same thing. Only one answer was the same. Nine out of 10 of the, of the uh, uh, responses given, um, neither the customer nor the financial advisor knew that the other required it. Having done all of that, we then set out to develop a technology that could somehow align ourselves with our customers. And we call this kind of collaborative technology, and it kind of differs from interactivity. For example, if you log on to your banking app, you can click on numbers, you can click and put in passwords, and it will interact uh, with a nameless, faceless machine on the other side. Collaborative te uh, technology simply uses technology to kind of leverage the, the relationship. So it does exactly the opposite. It takes the customer, and it takes the financial advisor and it pushes them close together, perfectly aligns them and enables them to collaborate one on one, even though they might be using technology. So instead of replacing the relationship, it kind of builds on the relationship. So we went on a, uh, a very, very long journey and developed a technology uh, for our practice uh, to ensure that our clients uh, are the people who ensure that they contact us when they want to contact us. So instead of phoning the customer and saying happy birthday and hoping that you haven't seen him for a year, that he'd speak to you, we give our clients the capability of him simply activating us when he needs us and any time of the day or not. This has kind of turned around our practice and in fact facilitated our ability uh, uh, from a fees point of view to keep those fees very low in relation to uh, what uh, customers I think would be scared of in a fee-based practice, that it's too expensive. So in our practice, 29 rand 99, which is the bottom of the fee range, is affordable to almost everyone. So our technology has enabled us to be able to deliver on this uh, time and time again and achieve the purpose of our business, and that is to create our own customers and to retain them 
uh, uh, and over a long period of time from generation to generation. Mm -hmm.